In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to talk about the substrate command in Grasshopper, uh, which you can find by double clicking here and searching for sub. And here we go, substrate. Or you can find it in the mesh section, uh, triangulation. And here is the substrate uh, command. So. Uh, I want to show you how you can use this tool to produce, uh, as you can see, these uh, geometries with, uh, I'm going to explain also about the random, how you can produce random extrusion on that. And finally, I'm going to explain uh, the degrees you can make on these substrate. As you can see, I can change this and produce different angles. So uh, let's first start with how we can use substrate. So I'm going to start from scratch. Uh, we can just search for sub. And here we go. Let's put the bifocals plugin in. I'm going to put the bifocals plugin in. OK. The first input, as you can see here, is the border. So uh, we have to give this a rectangle. And to make this, we can simply go to the curve and primitive and produce a rectangle. So. Uh, here I go, I'm going to go to the rectangle section and connect this rectangle to this border. Okay, so here we can give the size. Uh, the input is a domain. You can see it the default is minus one to one, which is, uh, which is actually from here to here. So what I'm going to do is give this a number and Grasshopper will think that it's from zero to that number. So we can simply control a rectangle by giving this X size and Y size a number and produce that rectangle. Let's just turn this off and here we go. We can see that I can change this. We can also turn on the rectangle but turn off the plane. So let's just extract this plane. This is a simple XY plane and I'm going to turn this off. Okay, so the next part is uh, how we can define the counts. You can see that's 100 counts. And if I just change this, you can see that I can increase or decrease the count of the substrate. And here we go. So this is the second input. The third is the angles, uh, which is in radians. So here we have to just define this. You can see that I can't right click and define an angle in degrees. So here we go. We can just define a radian. Connect this to the angle. And here we can define this. OK, if I give this a zero. I can see that everything is in the zero degrees. And if I just uh, change this, you can see that this is the 20 degree is the uh, degree of those lines. So we can just change this and we can give this multiple numbers. So if I just give use a shift key and change those numbers, you can see that we can have multiple degrees in this substrate. So you can just define uh, only one or multiple numbers for the degree here. Okay. The next one is the deviation, which is again angle division in radians, as you can see here. Uh, the deviation is going to be added to this angle. So if I just give this a uh, another radian and add this up to the deviation, you can see that I can also change that deviation to those straight lines. So we can also add one or multiple degrees of uh, radians for the deviation. So let's just uh, have that. And the next is the seed. That's the random seed for the solution. So you can simply start from zero to maybe one or 10,000. Doesn't really matter. Uh, a new number will give you a new solution. So as you can see here, I can change this and have different solution. But if I change this to 1,000, see the solution and now if I just go uh, change that number and again make that 1000 have the same result so this is going to be a fixed uh, solution for a fixed number okay so let's just change this to see the results you can increase the number and you can change the degrees you can change the deviation and you can change the seed okay so the next part is to use those lines. Uh, as you can see, we have these. Uh, okay, let's just zoom in. 
we have this substrate uh, diagram lines and what we can do is to simply split this rectangle with these lines so I'm going to go to the palms menu and choose a surface connect this to the plane uh, to the rectangle excuse me and here we have the whole surface now we can go to the intersection the physical and have this surface split tool and split the surface uh, with these lines so we can use the surface split tool so I'm going to use that and split that surface with those lines and here we have these fragments and you can see that we can have different fragments of that and let's just go to the shaded mode so you can see that and bring this here okay so this is the next part uh, what I'm going to do is simply extrude this and finish this tutorial so uh, we can simply go to extrusion extrude that in the Z direction and because these are one uh, 20 uh, different segments and that is related to the count you can see that's one plus this number uh, we can have uh, 20 random numbers so I'm going to use random here and you can also watch the tutorial for this I'm going to put this in the card so the range is going to be the range of the domain let's just go to the construct domain in the math and define this we can define this from 5 to maybe 25 that's the range of the extrusion the number should be the number of those segments so we can add this uh, number to the number and give this an x plus 1 so we can just go x plus 1 and produce that number and the seed is again uh, similar to the seed of this substrate we can give this a new number and produce different results so here we have 20 uh, different extrusions for all of those uh, fragments and we can give this to the z direction and here we go let's just change this a little bit so it just gets bigger and we have better results and here we go Okay, let's just make this to try uh, to a square and you can see that if I change the seed of the random you can see that we have different results so this was a tutorial about uh, substrate how you can produce that you can see that you can change those uh, numbers and produce different results you can change the degrees you can change the deviation I'm going to put that to zero and you can also give this a seed and change also the minimum and the maximum of the extrusion you can also put that to five to have a similar extrusion to that and at the end you can also uh, by using the random reduce tool delete that random reduce let's just see that for the end of the tutorial and you can say we want to delete five of those uh, segments just turn this off and here we go you can see that we can increase that again we can give this a seed and change the random reduce part and produce different results so here's how you can use the uh, substrate tool and produce different results on that and maybe you can use this for your architectural project or you can uh, use that uh, for producing uh, different uh, extrusions okay I want to give you a hint here you can see that this is 55 okay and if I go back we just gave this uh, 56 so we can't just give this number and plus this up so what you can do instead uh, to solve this problem I, I understood that because I just saw this uh, segment is just a little bit different from others so what we can do is simply just disconnect this and let's just delete the x plus one and debug this by going to the sets and use the list length tool okay to count those fragments I'm going to count those fragments and give this to the number so by uh, this way you can always have the same number of fragments and save the uh, same number of uh, uh, random numbers you can see 55 55 and that's fine and you can increase and uh, increase the random reduce and so on so this is the tutorial for the uh, substrate 
uh, tool. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like this video to support our channel and comment on this video and see you later. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel. And you can also watch uh, something that is related to this video, that corner, and see you next time.